Uh, thank you very much, Mark. And uh, I think your description of David is quite accurate. It's his passion that comes true, and that's extremely important. It's the humanity of the man and his commitment to the scaling up nutrition that is there. Um, I was listening to Paul there earlier talking about economists, and I have a joke about economists too. Uh, <laughs> as to say, the dismal science of economics. Uh, but if economists, if all the economists in the world were laid end to end, they wouldn't make a conclusion. <laughs> or the, neither would they reach one. Um, I'm delighted to be here at the launch of the uh, Business Network. Uh, I think it's extremely important, the Sun Business Network. Uh, we were present, Ireland was present at the establishment of the initial launch in the United Nations September 2010 with Secretary of State Hillary Clinton. And the reason that we have been at the core of this issue for quite a long time is because of our own legacy, our own experience of famine in the 19th century. And that has always remained with us. Uh, the fact that a million Irish people died in the middle of the 19th century when there was uh, more than enough food in the country to feed the population, another million um, <coughs> left the country, immigrated. So we see hunger as a very key area and nutrition as part of that. And in the context of the Irish programme, the Irish aid programme, it has always been at the heart of it, and it is the single area where most of our funding goes to, is the, what we call the hunger agenda, dealing with it. And it really is quite simple in the way that we see it, and that is that what we are about is dealing with the poorest people in the world, the people who have least in the world, and that the first thing that is required is the right to live. And the only way to live is with food. And the only way to have a proper living is to have enough nutrition so that you can have a healthy mind and a healthy body. And therefore, the core of our approach to dealing with our overseas development and all the rest of it is very much hunger, poverty and nutrition. And that is what we have been doing with GAIN, with the World Food Programme uh, in uh, Sub-Saharan Africa, where we have our partnership countries, um, Mozambique, and also in, um, in Vietnam, uh, which is another one of our, our nine partners countries, seven in Sub-Saharan Africa, and one in Vietnam, and the other in Timor-Leste. And we are bringing that as well um, to the Irish Presidency, which begins on the 1st of January. We already have talked with the Commissioner, we've spoken with a lot of bodies in relation to it, a lot of countries that are represented here, the, ministry, the Ministries for Development and so on. So that at the heart of our Presidency will be the nutrition and the hunger and the eradication of poverty issues and very much the scaling up nutrition. And we want to bring that a step further then to the other part of what we're going to be focusing on during our presidency, and that is the advancement of the Millennium Development Goals. 2015, they come to an end. There's a review mechanism beginning in the United Nations in, in September 2015. And we are very anxious that, first of all, we can work towards a framework that will incorporate and integrate as best as possible we can the Sustainable Development Goals and the Millennium Development Goals so that we move forward with a single stranded approach rather than a multiplicity of approaches for the European Union and then tic-tac in other areas as well. But that at the heart of that, a priority issue has to be the scaling up nutrition, that we have to ensure that mothers and children are treated properly so that they are able to live in the first instance and that they are able to become healthy and useful citizens in society as well, of course, as the quality of their own lives.
So that is the direction that we will be going in very much. And we, it cannot be done by countries alone, it cannot be done by programs alone, it cannot be done by NGOs alone. It can only be done in a successful fashion, in much the, way, the same way as the approach to HIV was done. It was a total lost cause until the companies, the private companies became involved and generic drugs became involved. So the private sector, to my mind, is absolutely key to a successful approach to the scaling up nutrition agenda. And that's why in my own portfolio of trade and development, uh, while we don't have the two tied into the other, nevertheless, there's no doubt about it that it is the private sector that will be able to make such an enormous contribution uh, to the, the Sun Agenda. So I'll talk about this in greater detail tomorrow, but can I say that from our point of view, uh, it's delighted to see what is happening here today, to see that the business network has been established, uh, and I have great hopes for it in relation to the work that has been proposed for the Scaling Up Nutrition Agenda. Thank you very much. Thank you.